Hi, this is Stephen Van Camp and Lewis. Uh, it is March 6th, and uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit more about um, how I uh, pay attention to the temperatures in my greenhouse, um, as well as being outside. Um, one of the things that we have to deal with at this time of the year is uh, really big swings in hot and cold temperatures. And I suspect I'm probably not the only person who has to deal with with this problem. In fact, I was gonna film this episode in my greenhouse, which is over here, you can't see it, uh, but trust me, it's there. Uh, but it's 95 degrees in there right now. Uh, so as you can imagine, you know, it, it's like 65 or 70 outside, so it's really nice uh, outside, but in, in the greenhouse, it, it's pretty warm. So after this video, I'm actually gonna go back and, and, and water all my plants, and that'll help bring the, the temperature down a little bit. But uh, you know, if you're not actually in your greenhouse or even outside, let's say maybe you're growing outside or maybe you're growing on a windowsill and you're kind of wondering what the, the temperature differences are on that windowsill on the coldest days in winter or the hottest day in summer. Um, so th there's a couple devices out there. Uh, one that I really like to use and I actually talked about in my, my video um, that I posted a few weeks ago, right before that, that really bad winter storm that hit us here in Texas and other parts of the country. Um, I, I showed you my little sensor push. And so I actually contacted sensor, sensor push and said, Hey, you know, I, I love y'all's product. I, I really want to talk about it a little more. And they said, cool, we'll send you some stuff. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Um, and so I got this, this is the actual device itself. This is the sensor push. If you recall in the video from, uh, from it was basically inside my house as I had just moved all my plants inside before the brutal cold. I showed you my sad little sensor push. It's a couple years old and uh, it's kind of faded and, and gross. And I felt really bad posting that because it's such a great product. And then I showed you like the worst possible representation. Anyway, here's some new ones. Um, and so what I'm going to do actually is show you the sensor push itself and then the, the sort of device that connects the sensor to your house. So uh, I'm going to open this, this little deal here uh, inside. The sensor push is actually wrapped up. Um, and so what, what I've got inside my greenhouse, and I'll show, you, show that to you in a sec, but this is what the sensor push looks like. It's just this little little cube basically uh, that so wherever you put this this is where you're, you're measuring your temperature this is the actual thermometer and hygrometer um, it has both uh, humidity and temperature as something that it reads and so I'll, I'll show you where I put that inside uh, my greenhouse uh, here in just a moment the other thing that they sent me is is this gateway so this device is the intermediary between your modem, uh, which for me is inside my house, and the the little sensor push, the little cube, which for me is in my greenhouse. And they're a couple hundred feet apart. So having this guy in the middle is critical. Um, so the, the sensor push will send the temperature and humidity from my greenhouse to this guy, to my modem, onto my phone, which is also my camera, um, so I can have updates at all times. And it's really handy. Um, you know, I've mentioned, I've mentioned other times when, you know, like I'm at the beach, you know, four hours away, of a, a four hour drive from here, and I can see exactly what temperature it is in my greenhouse. So I can have whoever is taking care of my greenhouse, I can say, hey, you know, it was 100 degrees today, can, can you make sure to water the plants? Or, you know, it was 80 degrees today, so maybe, maybe you don't need to water today. And the only way that I can do that is with the sensor push. And I, I really like it. Um, there's other products out there, I'm sure, that are, are, are very good as well. Um, I'm talking about this one because it's what I know. It was recommended to me, actually, by a, a friend of mine in um, the Alamo Judging Center. She's got it in her greenhouse. She loves it. And she, she kind of raves about it the same way that I'm doing right now. So. Um, I figured I'd, I'd let you all know. Actually, here's a quick snapshot of, of what my temperatures are today. Um, and it shows the high and low temperature, shows the high and low humidity. 
uh, it shows the current temperature and it even shows um, and then you know if I go back let's say a week I can see or uh, what my highs and lows what the peaks are um, you know the, the kinds of climate conditions that are uh, that are sort of influencing how my, my orchids are growing and how everything's doing and again you know if if you're growing on a windowsill believe it or not you can get really cold temperatures right right close to that window uh, conversely uh, if it's really hot and the sun is blazing down you know I've been surprised by how how hot it gets uh, right next to the window so it could be a, a good little device uh, for your windowsill for your terrarium or or, or for even just outside but uh, let me show you where I have my current one in my greenhouse because I think that's kind of useful so clearly that's not a sense of push but hey something that I'm sure you all want to see We've got Cattleya Maxima there, sort of mixing it up with Cattleya Lotta GZI. Kind of a cool sight. But what I really want to show you is how I keep my sensor push shaded and dry. Um, so as you can imagine, I don't want the sun blasting this. Uh, so I want to keep it in a lower position out of the sun, but I also don't want it to get wet because I suspect, I don't know for a fact, but I suspect that um, it's not going to do well under wet conditions. So I'm just got a little doggy bowl and I've got this guy under here. You can, you can actually see a spider web here on the inside. Um, and this is the sad little sensor push that I showed to y'all a couple weeks ago. But it's still cranking. Um, this is great. And so I just keep it here. So there's lots of airflow coming up from underneath. But when I dump water on my plants, it's not getting wet. And this is true. Um, when I move these plants, these plants will all be outside soon enough, probably in a month. Um, so when I move all these guys outside uh, and it rains, or I'm watering my plants every day, which is what I do um, when it's hot, that little dog dish or whatever you want any kind of a bowl will survive and do just fine um, during during the heat and during the wet so you remember that little gateway that i told you that connects the actual thermometer or the the thermometer hygrometer device the little cube the modem mine is outside and it stays outside it's not pretty but this is what I use and it works great outside. So this thing does just fine outside and it does just fine inside. Um, I had it outside during the cold weather and it seemed to do just fine. And if it's a hundred plus degrees outside, it seemed to do equally well. So, you know, uh, as you can imagine, this helps keep some of the rain off. It is under a big eave so it, it doesn't get shouldn't get wet it has gotten wet several times and it seems to keep on cranking so um that's how i do it so that's the device i use um if y'all use different devices or even sensor push let me know in the comments down below uh, i'm curious to see how, how everyone how everyone checks on on the temperatures and the humidity in their greenhouses or on the windowsill or whatever and with that I'm going to say goodbye. This is Dallas. He's a very playful creature, and he also says bye-bye. Have a great day.